So today I want you to look at the uh, clock 13 that was designed by Brian, no not by Ethan, by Brian Laws. Brian Laws has a very uh, uh, large website where he has uh, many many clock designs uh, made for uh, enthusiasts that like to replicate his wooden clock designs. What's unique about this clock is that Brian designed it uh, ex extremely slow, uh, small, so all the parts can be printed on a 3D printer. So if you download Brian Love's Clock 13 from his website, he will let you download it for a minimum charge, not very expensive to get the design plans. What he includes is the all the necessary files to send off to your 3D printing company. So they will make these parts according to the files. Or if you have a 3D printer yourself and all the necessary software, you can import these 3D print files for this design uh, and uh, print the parts yourself. Uh, the wheels, like the first, second and third wheel, the escapement wheel, the escapement itself, and the 12 to 1 conversion here which gives you the minutes to hours uh, all can be printed on uh, a 3d printer um, all you have to do is add some hardware the pendulum the the weight and uh, like in my case, I rest the two millimeter rods. There are one, two, three, four of them. I rest them in six millimeter ball bearings with a two millimeter uh, inner boring, which fits the rods nicely. The pendulum itself rests on a six millimeter ball bearing um, and a wooden encasing. The weight for the pendulum is made from wood and the weight that drives the clock is made from wood. The only thing that I added was a unique way to wind up the clock uh, I just have to pull up the weight that drives the clock and it has a counterweight on the other side so you have the pull down string here and the string that holds the counterweight and it's going through this very unique uh, pulley that rests on a one-way ball bearing so there's no winding mechanism you just have to pull up the, the weight and that's it